Good morning, families in America and all over the world. Welcome to our morning devotion. Thank you for joining us. And to start off our day, let us offer a bow to our Heavenly Parent and True Parents. Chonjiyen Champonimke Kimbe. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Reverend Milhan Stephen to lead us to a family pledge. Kajang Mengse, Il, Tanya Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Pon Hang Dangal Jaja, Ponyane Changjoi Sangin, Jisang Chongukwa, Chansang Chongugal, Changon Hargosel Mengse Hanaida. E. Tanya Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumunimgua, Cham Pumunimel Moshio. 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에서는 효자, 국계에서는 중심, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조 이상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 매일 주차적 천상 세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 천여극 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Thank you, Reverend Milhan. Now I'd like to invite Priscilla Agari to offer an opening prayer for this morning. <clears throat> Please join me in prayer. Most beloved heavenly parent, our precious true parents of heaven, earth, and all of humankind. We thank you so much that we could join together this morning from all over the world, brothers and sisters under our true parents, we pray so much, Father, that you can enter into each one of us, into our families, into our communities, through us. We so much appreciate how you brought us together at this time. We know that this time is a precious time, and we want so much to be able to fulfill your desire for us every day. We thank you for sending Dr. Young here at this moment in history and that all of us um, can be here this morning, that we could wake up. Some people it's night and some people it's morning and some people it's the middle of the day, but we're joining together and hearing, um, hearing your word, hearing your message for us in this day. I pray, Heavenly Parent, that you can feel so much joy that you can have so much hope and that it doesn't just stop 
at this message, but goes forward from us in our communities and our families, and um, that we can bring the kingdom, bring your kingdom of heaven into fruition on the earth as it is in heaven. We pray for our true parents, our true father in the spirit world, and our true mother on the earth. We pray for their total victory. We pray for all of the people of the world to recognize them and that we can um, we can see the day, that all of us here can see the day of the kingdom of heaven on earth. Thank you. We offer you this day, this time, in the name of Priscilla Agari, wife of Yuji Agari, Bless Central Family, Adju. Whoa, I think I, they lost me. Adju. Thank you for that uh, beautiful prayer. So those of you who just joined us, welcome to our morning devotion on Facebook Live and on Zoom. Now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share our gratitudes for this morning.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sharing in your breakout rooms. And for this morning, I would like to invite Justin Cherutic, if you could share. Please unmute yourself. Thank you, Diane. Um, good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, what I shared in my group was that uh, um, the parents are hard in the body of a servant uh, since uh, Dr. Young has been talking about. Um, it did touch me in a way that uh, I never truly felt it because when the kids were growing up, um, they're just obedient, they're young, you can't really, you love them and they're really beautiful, you love them, every parent loves the kids. Um, but then they become teenagers, they become their 20s, they have their own mind, they, know, they are not necessarily going to follow you. Uh, to do what you want them to do. <laughs> and then uh, you start wondering, your heart starts aching and suffering. And, and that's really the time, I think, you can uh, truly share the heart of God, the headache of God. And uh, as a parent, I myself, that's how I feel that they really can relate to the suffering and the pain of God as the kids grow up and are able to follow their own way and not necessarily your way. And uh, I feel that that's really the moment uh, I can truly, truly feel and imagine the pain and the suffering of that God must go through. And then when he said that, uh, uh, we must serve as a parent. So I thought, imagine that uh, if I could only pause under any circumstances when the problem occur, if I can pause and uh, think, if this is my son, my own son, if this is my own daughter, or if this is my own mother, my own father, how do I react? Uh, to this person or to this situation. And I felt from the bottom of my heart that this is the only way we can solve any problem, truly with uh, a parent at heart. And uh, with the body of the servant, just to serve, I feel that that's the key for every issue. So that's what I shared with my group and that's one thing that uh, I feel that it can help me in solving all the problems that I face. If I can just humbly think of whatever I face, the thing is in a in position of a, a parent, of a mother, or a sister, or a daughter, and they think twice, and they pause, and they have that constant awareness, that presence of mind of a parent, of a mother. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing. So for our next sharing, I would like to invite Yuki Watanabe to share his gratitude. Yuki Watanabe, mute yourself. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, uh, my appreciation is just like a small, like a little bit, but like a so past one week, I had really like a bad physical condition. And then I did it like, I'm a student, but like I couldn't focus on my work, uh -huh. like uh, literally one week. And then, but like uh, yesterday, yeah, I did it. I could focus, so like uh, I could focus on my study and then I was so happy, you know? Yeah, I really appreciate for, uh, no, I really uh, realized the importance of my, uh, physical body same uh, at the same time as like uh, 
uh, spirit self. So like, it's just small, short thing, but like, uh, that's my appreciation. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Even a small appreciation is an appreciation. So thank you for that. So for today, actually, Dr. Dr. Young is not live with us today. However, uh, he has sent us a recording. So with that, I would like to welcome him through a recording. <laughs> if we can share it. Thank you. Annyeonghaseyo. Good morning. Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ni hao ma. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Buongiorno. Guten morgen. Selamat pagi. Dobrae utra. Peace, salam, salam, alaikum. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Sawadikap. Namaste. My dear brothers and sisters, clergies and ambassador for peace, 안녕하십니까? Yesterday, I talked about I am the criminal of criminals. And today, I'd like to talk about a person who Satan cannot test. I'd like to invite the Heavenly Honey to read Father's Word. A person who Satan cannot test. In living a life of faith, you must completely forget about yourself. Feel you are lacking even if you become a sacrificial offering. Feel it is insufficient even if you sacrifice yourself and reproach yourself even in the face of death. We must become the original person who has nothing to boast about in front of God. Only then can we fulfill the ideal resurrection desired by the eternal God. When a person who leads their life with this kind of heart receives grace from the Father, he will be concerned whether he caused sorrow and shame to heaven for establishing himself as a representative of God. The greater the grace this person receives, the more he will feel he is lacking in proportion to the grace received. Additionally, the more precious the grace he receives, the more he will feel he does not deserve to stand in front of heaven due to his flaws. Should Satan attempt to test this person, he will fail to do so. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. A person who Satan cannot test. The important thing in my life of faith is that I need to be a complete offering like the relationship between a porter and clay. An offering means that I lose myself. It is a shojong where you only think about parents' wishes and live according to their will. Filial piety is an offering before one's parents. The husband needs to be an offering before his wife. The wife needs to be an offering before her husband. Parents are an offering before their children. Cain is an offering before Abel. Abel is an offering before Cain. This is a substantial offering. 
you know, this is a very important point about self-denial. Our life of faith begins from self-denial. You know, to, you know, to make, uh, you know, to become, you know, self-denial. How to deny myself? You completely, you need to lose your own self. We already know that God is a God is a, a God is the Potter. I am the clay. So my position is the position of clay, and become historical offering. So as the clay, what should I prepare? I completely deny myself. I completely need to become substantial and historical offering. This is the point about, very important point. If you completely become, you know, the, the clay, the position of the clay, Satan cannot test you anymore. Because you are completely deny yourself, 100% belong to God. And then Satan cannot find any point he can attack you, cannot attack you. That's why he are talking about it is a shojong where you only think about parents' wishes and live according to their will, not my will. Filial piety is an offering before one's parents. I am talking about here. The husband needs to be an offering before his wife. You know, one time, Reverend Johan Lee guide us how to make the unity between husband and wife, between Cain and Abel, between parents and, parents and children. You know, since I received his guidance how to make unity between husband and wife, I completely changed my concept. I really overcome any difficulties with my wife. Because of his guidance, I had a, like a life-changing experience how to build up relationship with my wife. He said that, you know, you need to treat your wife. She is a porter. You are, you are a clay. So, and your attitude, okay, when you attend your spouse, your wife, as a porter, I'm the portion of the clay as the object partner. So, you should be the clay before your wife. Whatever she is saying that this is God's order. This is God's guidance. Of course, sometimes your spouse is giving wrong direction, sometimes uh, you know right direction, but it does not matter. If, we, if you treat her, she is my God. I am completely object partner as a clay. Do not insist on my own opinion as a position of the clay. Reverend Johan Lee said, as a husband and wife have this kind of concept each other as the clay, not position of the porter. Completely deny my own self and the Reverend Johannes said, you can build great relationship between husband and wife. That's why he is talking about the husband needs to be an offering before his wife. 
The wife needs to be an offering before her husband. Parents are offering b e r their children. So also the, as a children, you need to think that I am the clay. My father and mother, they are the portion of the porter. Absolutely obey. Absolutely have to be humbled down. We call that is a self-denial. You know, therefore parents are the u n o f f e r i n g before their children. You know, when, when, when you treat your children, even though I'm the position of the parent, instead of the order and request something, If I treat them, they are son of God. They are daughters of God. And even though my position is a position of the parents, they are kind of the porter. I am the clay. And treat them as God's sons and daughters. This is the way how to deny myself. For example, long time ago, I got this kind of the guidance from Reverend Johan Lee when he talked, talking to the blessed wives. Wow. I, when I apply his, his guidance, since that time, I seldom have the disharmony between my wife and my relations. I treat her, she is my God. Whatever she's saying, this is not just only from her own word, this is an order from God. When I have this kind of attitude toward my wife, my wife cannot say anything. Whatever she say, yes! I will do. Even though sometimes she gives the wrong direction, but I accept this is God's order, then God change my wife. I do not have any intention to change my wife. Just even though he sometimes gave her a wrong direction, but when I treat her as my, my own God, I am the clay. She is a porter. Then if I have that kind of absolute faith and then with humbleness, if she gives the wrong direction, God correct her. That's why absolute faith and obedience create something. This is a really Amazing guidance. Why there is a fighting always between husband and wife, between Cain and Abel, between parents and children? Because they insist on their own opinion. My life is my life. Your life is your life. Do not disturb me. Because everybody, they have their own opinion. Different standard of the goodness and evil, they fight each other. But for, so, so, for some, some time periods, for certain period, if I had this kind of the attitude, I absolutely obey. I absolutely self-denial. And then just only my job is serving and serving and serving and serving. I am just only clay. My wife, my husband, you are my porter. It's up to you. Only t o it this way, I can remove my fallen nature. Centering on God's point of view and, and then parental heart and wearing the body of a servant. and completely become the clay. I am telling you, this is a secret. You 
can win over anyone. You can win over your able. You can win over your spouse. You can win over your children. You can win over your Abel and Cain and anyone. Wow. When I apply this principle, my relationship with my wife is really, really improving so much. You know, even though I feel my opinion is right, but I put her opinion first. And then just obey. Wow. I am telling you, those who are struggling with your spouse, apply this principle. I am the clay. My object partner is my porter. You know, this is the way how to deny myself. The offering has an attitude of absolute faith, and absolute love, absolute obedience. Think of the, you know, readings of the song of sincerity, dancing God. Even if you die hundred times and wake up, you won't change. And then whenever I sing this Tansim Ga, and always go back to my original point and the self-denial, I completely become clay. You know, whenever I sing this Tansim Ga, the song of the sincerity, always my heart become zero. My heart really want to become the clay in front of God. You know, you know the dancing we often sing a song about in, uh, uh, in Chongpyeong everywhere. Although my body perishes and yet 1,000 times dies, my bones become ashes, even my soul vanishes. Still all my love and all my heart unchanging remain with you. My everlasting loyalty, filial piety unchanging remains with you. Wow, this is the really perfect attitude as the clay. You know, even 1,000 times a day, Although my body perishes, my bones become ashes, I absolutely follow you. That's why when you have this kind of the singing, and then you can reflect on yourself. That's why often I sing that song. Let me try in Korean. Ye mo mi chu go to chu go il be pon ko cho chu go pe ko. Chin Kashit 
당신 가실 주 있으랴 얼더 마이 바디 perishes. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a song, the song of the self-denial. Come completely away to God. Each up to God, Heavenly Father. So one Uh, anyone have this kind of the attitude? Satan cannot test anymore. Like Jesus, completely deny himself on the cross. Heavenly God, it is up to you, Heavenly Father. Jesus showed the model. How to deny yourself? This is not my will. This is your will, Heavenly Parent. It's up to you, Heavenly Father. I am ready to become offering. Hmm? My brother senses this. Wow. Why fight with my spouse, with my children, with my Cain and Abel? Because to not deny myself. And then always we need to have the humble heart to listen. Even though my opinion is correct, but I want to really listen my object partner's opinion first, and then, and then completely obey as, a, as the clay and serving them without talking much. This is the way how to make harmony, how to make the unity. The nature of the offering is that You know, you are lacking even if you become a sacrificial offering. Feel it is insufficient. Even you sacrifice yourself and re, uh, reproach yourself even in the face of that. Like uh, just now we are singing a song, song of the sincerity. You need to become the original person who has nothing to boast about in front of God. If you boast about yourself, Satan begins to invade. You need to be con uh, concerned whether you cause sorrow and shame to heaven for establishing yourself before God. Oh, you need to care of the God's feeling or rather than just opposed to yourself. The greater the grace you receive, and the higher the position you have, the more lacking you feel. Heavenly Father, this is really insufficient. I am nothing, Heavenly Parents. Please create me. I am ready to accept you guidance. I am just clay. Whatever you want, it's up to you, Heavenly Father. I need to overcome this suffering. Yet yeah, this is a, your will, then I will follow. Satan cannot test such a person when you become a perfect offering, perfect clay. Satan cannot Accuse. Why we cannot feel God? We are why we cannot, you know, meet God. Because we don't become yet perfect clay, perfect offering. Still, 
you know, I insist on my own opinion too much. There is a the reason we cannot meet God. Okay, one more slide. <laughs> Heavenly honey. A person who has completed the Bible. I do not think that Christianity is a religion of love. What kind of religion is it? It is a religion of battle. It is a religion of establishing, establishing love after battle. Thus, should the bridegroom come, he will not be able to love from the beginning, but will have to end the battle before being able to love from the position of the bridegroom. That is when he can love. You have to know that before loving, it is a time of battle. As such, we must complete the Bible. What kind of people can stand in front of the bridegroom? In front of the returning Messiah in the last days? The person who has completed the Bible can stand in front of the returning Messiah. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. A person who has completed the Bible. Christianity is a religion of battle. It is because it cannot establish love without first fighting the evil war and then paying the indemnity. That's why Christianity was a religion that has sacrificed to fight against Satan. Therefore, it is a religion of establishing love after battle and indemnity. You can see the history of the Christianity. How many people become offering? How many people killed by the people? You know, incredible sacrifice. Where there is a Christian history, there is an incredible sacrificial history. The Unification Church was also a religion of a battle before the indemnity was over. It is a cause of love after indemnity. It is a cause of battle until the top of the cross stage. The cause of the completion is the cause of love since the era of the Unification Church was a period of the indemnity. To further establish the Unification Church, you know, because Christian, Christianity do not accept the Father, so he created one religion, which is a Unification Church. When when, when uh, under the name of the Unification Church, when we recite my pledge in the past, we use the word of the battle. The word love was never mentioned in the content of the, my pledge. However, after the Family Federation was proclaimed, the word true love is included in each verse in the Family Pledge. A family that still battles in the family is a family of indemnity. However, a united family is a family that has already entered the completion stage. How about your family? Is our family still a family that has graduated from indemnity between the couple and parents and children? Or is it a family that has entered the love and heart? If you are still struggling with your spouse, that means you are still the, under the era of the indemnity, not yet graduated from the indemnity. If you are still struggling between parents and children, you are not yet graduated from the indemnity course. You are still struggling between Cain and Abel. You are not a graduate, graduate about from the indemnity between Cain and Abel. My brothers and sisters, only we can meet the era of love after, after completely win of the Satan. 
then we can enter the and the era of the completion. Very important. It's individual, it's family level, it's the relationship between husband and wife different. What kind of the level, you know, do I have? What kind of the level conjugal relationship do I have? Heavenly Father, you know, ask us to enter the world of heart and love. Only the era of the indemnity is over now. It's up to you. If you make beautiful unity between husband and wife, and then you are, you already graduated from the indemnity course. And then you are already entering the wall of the completed stages. We graduated from the age of the Bible, the age of uh, the battle, and the completion age, and have entered the era of Chon Gung now. Everyone without exception needs to know, uh, need, need, need to now win in the family. This is the most difficult challenge. Only few of all of the central figures have won in the family. Yesterday I'm talking about my family is front line. My husband is my front line. My children is my front line. Where there is a God and there is a Satan. You know? So where there is a front line, there is, a, there is God and Satan. But if you fight with Satan and win over the Satan, and then only God that exists over there. That's why our final conclusion is what? How can I win over in my family? Your father and mother knows you, your fallen nature, your good point and weak point, knows everything. Your spouse knows your problems. That's why if you win over in your family at the front line, you will be become you become champion of love and heart. My brothers and sisters need to remind where we can win in our family. Our family is our front line. You need to win in the family, win in the tribe, and win in the nation. If you win in the family and you have you are confident to uh, to win in the tribe as a tribal messiahs, if you win in your tribe, and that is the foundation to make, you know, uh, to restore the one nation, one sovereignty, one people. If you look at the family as the center, the family is the formation, the tribe is the growth and the national restoration is the completion. My dear brothers and sisters, again and again, I remind you and remind to myself, you know, a person who has completed the Bible, who can complete the Bible? First of all, you need to graduate in the midi course and then win over Satan then era of the indemnity is over, then I can enter the world of heart and love and that I am the one who has completed the Bible. That is our true parents' guidance. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Young, for that amazing internal guidance and really for reminding us how we should live uh, with our families and with our couple, really seeing them as God sees them. And again, yeah, Dr. Young is really pouring hard to us. He's actually at uh, an international leaders meeting in Korea right now, so that's why he couldn't be with us live. But uh, thank you, Dr. Young, for sending that and really pouring your heart to us. And so now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share our reflection. And yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes.
reflections for today. And yeah, in my breakout room, I, I had, uh, it was just two people, just me and Reverend Green. So yeah, I was really inspired by his sharing. So I wanted to invite him if we could share for this morning. Reverend Green. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, <laughs> Hack, Diane Hack for enabling me this opportunity to, uh, to share my reflection. You know, first of all, I, you know, I, I really want to um, offer my gratitude to, to true parents for their, you know, for their guidance. You know, where in the world can, can a man like me be provided with this knowledge you know, uh, that can result in the perfection of my own heart. Because that is really my aim, you know, as, as a human being. I want to be able to perfect my individuality in resemblance of God. That has always been my quest. And so, you know, when I reflect upon, you know, the opportunity that has been given me to be able to meet the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. That, that is really a great blessing because I feel as if my life, you know, is, is being dedicated, you know, to heaven. And sometimes I find it very difficult to give up on my, myself. But that has been the hindrance. So point I'm making is that when Dr. Young spoke about being the clay and my wife being the potter, I take that position very seriously because as I mentioned to uh, that, if there's anyone that I can trust in the world with my heart, it is my wife because she has been the one that has been with me through thick and thin. And she's the one who really cares for me. I think when Dr. Young spoke about that, she's my God, that my wife is really my God. And I am willing to entrust my entire life into her care. So I really want to thank Dr. Young for his, his great effort in, in moving us out of the realm of indemnity into the world of heart. So that is a, that's a great step for me, you know, to be able to leave the realm of indemnity behind and to be engaged artistically in the realm of heart. So I have great respect and, and uh, admiration for Dr. Young's guidance. And I, I, I really, when I think of this, uh, you know, behind the scenes, there is true parents at work. Father and mother are the ones who is really giving us this kind of guidance because everything that he has said, you know, comes from the father. As the song says, you know, the... You know, it comes from the father to the children. And so I'm deeply grateful for, um, you know, true parents. And I hope that the people who may have, you know, uh, caused true parents suffering and pain in America, that they will, you know, we all should take responsibility for what father and mother went through here in this country. Because I think the key to our success you know, is our recognition of how we have really wrong, you know, the Messiah and his bride and to, to want to take the steps to, to correct that. I think once we correct that, then we will be on our way to gain all the success that we're looking forward to. That has to be resolved. So, you know, as we do our mission, I believe that we should have the heart of repentance 
in how we treated the Messiah and his bride who came to this country, you know, and had to go into Danbury prison. So we have to always keep this very, very important understanding in mind and with the willingness to take responsibility for, for that. Thank you so much, Reverend Green. And I'm sure if Dr. Young was here live, he would have said, thank you, Heavenly Green. So thank you for sharing that a reflection. And next, I would like to invite on, uh, Nadia Kazakh to share her reflection for this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Diane. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's crazy. It was, anyway, I, it was very unexpected, but same time kind of expected. <laughs> um, I was sharing in my breakout room with uh, my wonderful brother that yesterday was a very tough evening for me somehow. Yeah, I felt emotionally. I was really spent with my kids, with my mission with a lot of things and um, I um, was kind of in a very negative state of mind it was so tough to have hope that um, a lot of the problems I see against you and uh, so anyway yeah I tried to talk to my husband but still um, I felt like I didn't want him to give to also to give the, all this negativity to him so what I tried to do is to just offer it up. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Parents, I'm sorry. I know I, I should offer something nice, but that's all I have offered. I'm all over the place. I'm tired. I have not so much hope. So, and in the morning, it was very difficult to wake up today. And I kind of didn't want to. Yeah, but it was incredible when... Even my body was really like tired. I didn't want to get up. But um, the first thing I came, I, that came to my mind, like again, half kind of trying to crawl out of my body, right? Is that how grateful I am for this life that I have, that God gave me, um, compared to all again, what my ancestors had to go through, what all the people around me I see in the world right now in America going through, right? that I have these glimpses of hope all the time and through parents and, and this beautiful truth, even though sometimes we feel so short, like Reverend Green said, to fulfill it, to follow it, right? To even practice it in our families, not talking about like national level. So it was very beautiful. But then the words that I heard from uh, Dr. Yan when he just mentioned this, uh, example of potter and clay really kind of yeah, pierced me because it was very personal almost I felt like God is speaking directly to me because I had this experience many years ago when I was fundraising in Korea um, uh, some, uh, when I was still uh, um, in Russia we would go to Korea to fundraise so and I had this very difficult day when I felt like again I'm failing so short and I just can't, I know God can work through me, but he doesn't mean something is wrong with me. So I was crying and um, I remember getting ready for this last, well, like uh, effort of the day. It was night already, it was kind of cold. So I prayed, gave this prayer to God. And then I uh, went and the first place I went, it was um, this little church. And there was this young pastor and his wife and his kid and nobody in the audience. Nobody came for the e evening devotion, right? So he got very excited when I came and I thought, oh, no, I can't stay. I'm just fundraising, right? But he was very excited. And for like many Korean people, we're all Americans. It doesn't matter what race or like what nationality we are. So he's like, oh, American. And he started, okay, I'm going to sing a hymn in English. So in the hymn he started to sing was exactly talking about this. And I'm the porter, sorry, God is the potter and I'm the clay. And I remember yeah, sitting only one person in the audience, crying my eyes out, thinking that God is talking directly to me, right? Telling that, don't worry, 
just be with me and I'll work through you. Just give me a chance and give me a chance to love you, right? So, yeah, and that evening was one of the most amazing experiences for me in fundraising because people were practically running after me trying to give me money. But also it was not about that. It's like how much, how much love I felt. Like that I, basically, yeah, that all God wanted me to do is just to let him love, love me. Lo- love me. Mm, wow. Yeah, that's why this evening, this, it was amazing that it was like, Dr. Yanovan, he recorded this message, but I felt like he recorded it for me. Thank you very much. And also that, yeah, that God, it never gives up on us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nadia. <laughs> Actually, Nadia is from, uh, we're from the same community, so it's nice to see you. It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice to see you here, Diane. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Uh, so for today, we don't have a uh, musical offering. We had that in Dr. Young's recording. Uh, so yeah, Dr. Young sang for us. He can sing and preach at the same time. That's amazing. Yeah, so for but for our daily reminders today, we're just encouraging you to invite someone uh, from your Trinity uh, to our morning devotion on Zoom um, and attend every day. You know, Dr. Young, even though he's away, on this international meeting. He's always trying his best to be here for us. So I think it's really best when we're also here and really try to connect with him and build this artistic uh, relationship with our brothers and, brothers and sisters, especially on Zoom because we can share with each other. And yeah, so as always, we also have the link in the chat for our donation. You can give whatever you feel like. Uh, giving to support our um, morning devotion ministry. Anything will be appreciated. And for our closing prayer today, I would like to invite one of the couple that I really respect and love, um, Wunjin and Hanmin, Hanmin Hanim Bowman, <laughs> to close uh, with a prayer this morning. Please unmute yourself. All right. Okay. By the way, thank you, Diane, for the wonderful opportunity. I We're appreciate honored. it. <laughs> All right. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly parents, thank you for this wonderful, basically, speech that we had. I'm grateful that we, Dr. Young, really nailed it that how much we invest in each other as we see couples is the measure we give to each other and how we help improve each other. That we're the creators and basically the making of who we are as a couple, as a lineage, as a people. I'm also grateful for the fact that he also pointed out that we, whenever we are arguing or in fights all the time, we're usually selfish and basically expressing our opinions instead of listening to basically our spouse and our partner in this in this basically wonderful place. I'm also grateful for the fact that we should all be humbled. All of our basically past lineages have not been from great places. We just happen to be lucky to stumble upon true parents, the truth and God and the relationship that we are trying to establish with our heavenly parents. That no one's better or worse, we're all human beings and we should treat each other as such. I also pray that we can make a better basically place than where we started, that each generation we bring on this world will make this world a better place. May we bring the kingdom of heaven inside of ourselves out to other people and try not to build it on the outside because it starts within us, all of us. We're all trying to find that inner peace, that peace that we can bring to our families, ourselves, our clans, our societies, our nations, our worlds. It has to start with us. It can't start outside somewhere. We can't build it outside of ourselves. It has to be from within. Please let us be able to find that peace, grasp that truth and give it to others and make sure that we can bring happiness by being happy within ourselves first happy that we are having a relationship with our heavenly parents. They love us, they care about us. They're personally invested in everything that we do. Please let us also invite them into our lives 
into our actions, into who we are as people. May we be the best children of God that we are because they love us as such. May we also pay it forward to them, bring it to them, bring all that love, joy, kindness, uniqueness, talent, joy, beauty, and bring it all within ourselves and out to all the people that need it the most. I pray this name, Wanton Jackson Bowman, Hon Elizabeth Bowman, blessed your family. Adieu. Adieu. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful prayer. You guys are such a lovely family. I love it. It's beautiful. And yeah, for that, uh, with that, thank you, Dr. Young, for sending the video. Kamsamida. And thank you, everyone, for joining on Facebook and on Zoom. Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow for another morning devotion. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.